nothing to do. How are you guys? Hey, what the fuck? Crazy guy, but unfortunately, none of the others have survived. So, what do you suggest we do here? Shoot. Another one lost. Alright, well, just wrap up the body like we usually do and just throw them out back. But, we also need to find those pictures and the location of Pumpkin Mass because 01114 died as well as the other ones, but Pumpkin Mask is the subject of 01111. The only person that survived who has an unknown identity. Unfortunately, which is why we'll never be able to track him down, but the only thing I can say is that you guys continue all the research and you guys get all the evidence together. I can take those photos to the bar and maybe I can have a one-on-one -on -one encounter and you know, maybe I can figure this shit out for myself, but you guys just throw the body and I'll keep doing the work. Of course, sir. We'll get on that right away. Hello? Yeah. Yeah, this is he. I don't know anything you're talking about, sir, but uh, the test subjects are just fine. May I ask, who is this I'm speaking to? Alright, well, I can't give you any personal information, but you can't tell me your name, you're unannounced, dude. Hey, Detective Salomon, I'm glad you can make it. My name is John. What's up? I can't say my last name, just call me John. But anyways, I'm a private investigator. I was sent here by your boss to come and check out the situation that you guys might have had with your test subjects. So, can you tell me what seems to be the problem? Because you seem to only have one alive, but more than a dozen dead. So can you tell me what that is all about, Salomo? I'm being honest with you, John. Well, the problem that we seem to have is that our test subjects seem to not be able to follow the instructions. Their one simple rule is just to stay alive. And the only way that the guy that survived last time is because he actually followed the rules and did the orders like we were supposed to. I'm only in you on a little bit of a secret, John. But Pumpkin Mask is the one that survived. He has no identity. He was just a test subject that came here, his face was beaten in, and man, this man was horrible. But when we had put him in the test subject room, he had proved to us that he had pretty much slaughtered the entire, you know, test props and shit. The test subject, on the other hand, the recent one, test subject 01115, he was mauled down by one of our tests. So, yeah, unfortunately, he had passed away. But in the due time, my boss is waiting for me. I know he's sent you here, but I gotta ask, why are you here in the first place other than just to get into my business? Why? 
are you? Seriously? Hello? Hello? What the fuck? <laughs> You're a funny fella. Funny fella, Salomon. I was sitting here by your body, but of course you already know that part, but... I came to ask you some questions about if you know anything about Don Garfield and the incident that happened a few years ago. It wasn't very long, but uh, I did my research as a private investigator and checked out all the different analyses and all of the autopsies on top of the body. We found Ronnie Hayes, the skull man, the one that was supposed to bring back the dead for good and take down the dead at the same time. But, unfortunately, he was also murdered, which is why he's on the autopsy table. But my real question is, what happened to Piglet and what happened to Don Garfield as the two, some miracle way, vanished off the face of the earth, if you get my drift? Well, uh, truth is, I shot down Ronnie. He had it coming. Poor bastard just couldn't stop. I had to put him out of his misery before he killed all of us and ended up taking the book, as you already know and distressed by. Don Garfield and Piglet, I can't say for them. As soon as I was fixing to be shot down, I was saved by the king, Marcus saved my life. They just kind of disappeared and I have no idea where they went, but that's why I joined the force to see if I can take them down myself. But unfortunately, Detective Frank is on a higher level fixing to get close, and I can't let him get close, because if he gets too close, that ruins my entire revenge and my fucking shit to get to him. The problem I have with that is I need some help. You're a private investigator, you take photos and, and shit like that, but I ain't asking. It's a willing. But if Boss sent you here too, that means he's got both of our ass trapped in this investigation. The Biohazard Justice Department still haven't found anything other than the test subject, which is why we've been testing them to see which one could be bunked in that. But unfortunately, we've been unsuccessful so far, which probably about to shit. Twenty-five years ago, we were just a couple of teenagers, me, Frank, and this other kid, William. We were all hanging out at a place and. Just one day it all came crashing down when Dar Don Garfield said that somebody was shooting up the place. Somebody else shot down the place, shot, shot into my hand, and it just went bad from there. Frank got abducted and was taken. We never saw him again until, surprise, surprise, and then all of a sudden William disappeared, but we don't know what happened to William. But I can tell you this though, that day Don took me in, we grew up together. And now we're going head to head because fucking Piglet and Ronnie have been his right and left ear the whole time. Spreading lies and rumors just to try to get all of us killed because of the book. And I ain't gonna let that happen. So you're either with me or you're not. Yeah, I understand that. I want to cut to these assholes just as much as you do. The only problem with that, we ain't got no lead. The only lead we got is the book and whatever your investigators and biohazard have picked up on recent years ever since this shit happened. So far, Frank is still in town. He's fixing to head out on a mission to go find Damien Sue. But in the meantime, I'll keep him trapped down and I'll let Nathan know. If that makes you feel any better. And after that, once Nathan knows, then, then we can strike in and get the book from all of them. Patience, man. Patience is all we need.
Solomon. Solomon, get your ass here now. The creatures are about to fucking break. I would like to remain anonymous. This is a tip. I would like to have some of your access to your private information. I would like to know more about the underground labs that you guys have been doing test runs for. Where? Like I said, I can't tell you who you're speaking to, but just know that we will come to find Salimo. And when we do, we will take him back. So don't try to stop us. You've been warned. Well, it seems like we have a criminal to catch, boys. Oh. 
Oh.